Hello student, my name is Mr. Barak Otieno and today I want to teach you physics form 1, the topic being introduction to physics. Now what is physics? So this topic basically will try to explain what physics is. But to understand physics, remember physics is a science. We did science in primary. In primary science, science looked at various aspects of science such as energy, we also looked at life, making work easier, and also properties of matter. Now those broad topics in secondary, they are divided into other subjects. Science in secondary will be taught us three subjects. We have biology, we have physics, and we have chemistry. Now these three subjects will still form part of science. And the main objective of these three subjects, or science in general, is to explain the universe, everything that happens in the universe, from the earth to all the heavenly bodies such as the sun, the stars, the comets, everything. Science will try to explain all these physical, uh, all these things in the universe. So, what is physics? What is the meaning of physics as a science? This is what today I want us to understand as an introduction to physics. So how do we define physics? Physics is the study of matter and its relation to energy. Physics is the study of matter and its relation to energy. What is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So anything on earth, outside the earth, us human beings, small in insects, all animals, all these things are matter. Even microscopic organisms, all these are matter because they occupy space and they have mass. So Physics as a subject will try to explain various physical and natural phenomena that happens around us every day. So what are the examples of these phenomena? Like the formation of rainbows. When we grow up we see the rainbow, sometimes we don't understand what it is. Physics will explain how this phenomena occur, how the rainbow occurs, formation of the rainbow. It will explain the eclipses. We see eclipses occurring at intervals, maybe after years. But how do they occur? Physics will also explain that the falling of objects towards the Earth's surface. What we also call as gravity, what we call gravity. This one will be explained in physics. Seasonal occurrence of oceans and tides. Many other things like crackling sounds heard when nylon cloth is removed from the body. This one is under electrostatics. So these ones will be explained in physics. The other thing that we'll explain in physics is the formation of shadows and many more. So much of this will be able to be explained in other branches of physics. Physics in its own is again divided into branches there'll be different branches of physics that will tend to explain all these phenomena, but now they'll be explained in different branches of physics or different areas. They'll be categorized into groups. So the first branch of physics that will help explain this phenomena is mechanics. What is mechanics? Mechanics is a branch of physics that deals with motion of bodies under the influence of forces. So, we look at all matter's forces that influence the body, makes a body move. What are these things that will make a body move? So, under this branch we look at things like linear motion, when a vehicle is moving, somebody is running, 
things like speed, velocity, acceleration, will all be explained under mechanics. There's also circular motion. Circular motion is the motion that goes, as the name suggests, in a circular manner. 